Hey, this is Wiley Sharp with Denison Yachting, and today I want to take you for a video walkthrough on board the Sunreef 60E. Uh, this boat, I know I've shown you the Sunreef 60 before, but this particular one is exceptionally cool. It's an electric drive boat, lithium batteries, really cool carbon solar array. They use reclaimed teak wood in the uh, interior of the boat. A lot of recycled goods are actually used to manufacture the boat. All in all, really, really cool and a testament to what Sunreef is capable of in terms of being a semi-custom builder. Um, if you've got any questions on the Sunreef 60, please leave a comment down below. If you're planning on coming to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, the Sunreef 60 is making her North American debut. So if you want to get aboard, please shoot me an email, leave a comment down below. Let's go ahead and Okay, we're going to make our way on board the Sunreef 60 electric boat. This boat was quite a big surprise for me. I thought it was just a normal Sunreef 60 with electric motors, uh, but it's the whole concept behind the boat that's absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, a zero eco-friendly luxury high-end boat. Uh, we're gonna come back to the cockpit. We'll start up here on the fore, fore deck. I mean, you can see nice high uh, lifelines, LED lighting built into the tow rail. We've got split trampolines for just like you find in all the Sunreef 60s. Beautiful uh, seating up here on the foredeck. We've got a Code Zero, a Genoa, and a jib sail. Kind of give you guys a quick pano of the four forward cockpit. Tons of seating throughout. Boats in a uh, kind of like a pewter, pewter gray. Teak decking all the way forward. I love the uh, flush cleats there. Very nice touch. We've got the passerelle over there on the starboard sugar scoop. The hydraulic tender platform. Do a quick pano through the cockpit here. We've got the alfresco dining outside. The uh, rain shower. Now this boat's equipped with uh, 55 kilowatt electric motors and it's designed to cruise at about seven knots, six, seven knots, depending on conditions. And, um, and uh, can do that all day long as long as you have sunlight. We've got the wet bar down here on the bottom deck. I'm gonna go ahead and make our way up to the flybridge while we can. It's always hectic trying to do these in the middle of the boat show, so I'm very happy that our friends at Sunreef let me on board. Now this hard top, is probably one of the coolest parts of this whole boat. So it's a carbon fiber hardtop with solar panels making up the hard pop, hard top. It's 4,500 kilowatts of solar. They can run this boat for about two days without charging up the batteries, and it does not take them long to charge up the lithium batteries because of this carbon hardtop. I just love the simple elegance of this particular boat. Because I wanted to save on weight, to make the electric drives more efficient. Boat is equipped with a carbon mast, as well as a carbon boom. And I'll give you guys kind of an idea of what the hardtop solar panel looks like. One really cool thing as well is the, you can kind of see the, the shade pattern on that seat there. The bimini top allows sunlight through through the gaps in the solar because solar is much more efficient if it doesn't generate a lot of heat and so by by not having it on a rigid deck it allows the solar to be a lot more efficient but it also gives the boat just a really nice uh, warm feel while still being in the shade forgot to point out we've got the mini bar over here on the um, starboard side of the flybridge and then we've got the helm over on the port side twin helm seats and it's a uh, fully carbon console with BNG electronics. Great visibility from the helm. Go ahead and make our way down the steps back from the flybridge to the bridge deck. And we'll go ahead and make our way inside. Make our way into the salon. First thing worth pointing out is this beautiful teak floor is actually reclaimed Burmese teak. 
It's just pretty cool. It goes along the theme of just sustainability. Uh, we've got a full-size fridge over here on the port side. Nice large uh, sink. Got the burner over on the outboard side. It's great visibility. All the blinds are powered blinds. I've got them all dropped now and the visibility from the salon is just phenomenal. We've got the pass through to the forward cockpit and the foredeck. I'll do a quick pan through the um, salon here. You can see the kitchen island. Center line, we've got the lower helm station with BNG repeaters, all the vessel management system. Of course, you have to have a wine cooler, right? Gonna make our way down the starboard forward companionway. So this is the first of five staterooms on board. It's an athwart ship, queen size berth. And then the heads up forward. So it's got a rain shower as well as a wand style shower. Making our way aft, we've got the midship guest cabin, which is also an athwart ship, an athwart ship walk around queen. And then the head is just aft of that with a separate shower stall and a single basin sink and vanity. Coming up the starboard forward companion way, we're gonna pass through the salon and look at the starboard aft stateroom. I love the woodwork on this boat and the reclaimed teak just, it looks so nice. It's um, so much nicer looking than the, you know, the new teak and you know, what, what they're finding now. It's just got a really nice richness to it. Thwart ship, queen size berth. And then we've got a um, another uh, shower and head. So I think I mentioned the boat's got like 4,500 kilowatts of solar. I'm sorry, 4,500 watts of solar, uh, 55 kilowatt electric drives. It does have a generator as a backup, although they've not really had to run the generator at all. The battery management system, the lithium batteries, and the 4,500 watts of solar have done a really good job. Going up the port forward companionway, we get to the fourth guest stateroom, which is also an athwart ship queen size berth. And then a head that very much mirrors the starboard forward head with a rain shower, wand style shower, and then the actual head. And then we're gonna move back to the port aft cabin, which is the master on this boat, which is an athwart ship semi walk around queen size berth. That's bigger than a queen, actually, I believe. And then I haven't pointed out, but the you know vertical window sunroof so well known for right across the way, just making the boat very bright, open, and airy. And that's worth pointing out. Like I'll just highlight this one piece here. The artwork on this boat is really, really something special. I mean, it's a very cool boat. We've got the master shower here with a rain style shower as well as a wand, and then the master head up forward. If you have any questions on the Sunreef 60 or the electric Sunreef 60, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.